your play settings done this Thanksgiving for under $5. That's right. Carson's going to show us how you can do this by DIYing the whole project. The whole thing. Okay, what are, gonna, are we, what are we starting with? From the bottom actually, up. Let's show them what it looks like. So this beautiful play setting, uh, you can actually get this done for under $5. Okay, you just have to be a little bit creative. And you're going to need a little bit of time because this is and not a time. fast process that you do the morning of the big no. day. No, no. we're not going to do that. All right, no. so let's start with the barn board first. Okay. And if you've got barn board available, fantastic. You can literally lay a barn board across several different play settings and just go across. And it gives it that sort of rustic, yes. you know, feel, which is very on trend for this time of year. Yeah. But I'm going to point out our back wall here. These are all the barn boards that came from my barn. Oh, so you can beautiful. see all of the different colors out there. Yeah. There are levels and layers. It's not all the same. Okay. Right. So you're going to, okay. yeah, and you're going to end up with different results yeah. as a result. All right. Yes. So I wanted to go online and see what the best way is online to do this. Mm -hmm. So there was one method that I wanted to try that I thought was really cool. So basically what you do, and I'm going to open this up here. It smells horrible. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thanks for the warning. Yeah. So it is steel wool. Mm -hmm inside of pickling vinegar. Oh. Okay, and what okay. happens is it slowly breaks down in there over time. It takes about three to five days, yeah. but it makes this sort of briny, mm. messy, yeah, concoction that looks like this. Okay. Okay, then what you're gonna do, and I'm gonna move this board over here. Tracy, if you can help me there. Thank mm -hmm. you. So then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your pickling liquid. We're gonna paint it with the nasty gonna stuff? you're gonna literally paint this on your board. Okay. It looked like nothing. Yeah. I was like, oh, that's great. Yeah, five days and I got <laughs> clear liquid. So here's the trick. There's a chemical reaction that actually takes place. And what happens is when you put this outside in the sun, yeah. you end up with that. Oh, so this just happened with that clear? Yeah, with that clear stuff. It actually stuff. got the graying, the rust color, it oxidized. Mm. So it turned out kind of neat. Yes. This is literally just a plank, a rough hewn plank from a box store. The whole thing, 12 feet long, cost me $6. Oh, so I could cut God. them all up, right? That's so it, great. it turned into that, which was kind of nice. Yes. But then I thought, you know what, Carson, I can do better. So okay. I wanted to step it up. So what I decided to do was get some stains. Now these are wood deck stains that I work with all the time as an outdoor guy. Yep. So what I wanted to do was have a little fun with layering colors. Now there's a thing you should know about stains is stains come in a couple of different uh, applications. Mm -hmm. This is called solid hide. Mm -hmm. Looks like paint, mm -hmm. right? Doesn't do anything but sits on top of the wood and looks like paint. Gives you that sort of gray look. Yep. However, this one, I'm going to use, well, maybe not going to use that brush. I'm going to use this <laughs> brush. This is a semi-transparent. Now, when you yeah. layer a semi-transparent over top of a solid hide, what happens is the semi-transparent soaks in and shows wood graining, That's whereas right. the solid hide is solid. Because they had some of the good colors that I was looking for to create the actual tinting, all yes. right? But I'm going to show you what it looks like when I got it all done. Okay. Because I want to show you that Carson knows his stuff. Look Carson at that. Isn't that fantastic? So what I did was the two stains and then I took black shoe polish and just buffed ah, it in to create that effect. Right? You gave it some depth. Yeah, so this is the online. Yes. And this one is Carson's. So you can you can make your decision as to which Carson's one you like is better. better. Yay, that's what it I is. like to hear. Yes. It's better. All right. That's good. So there's your placemats. The next okay. thing up was the charger. And you can see here, Trace, and I'm gonna lift the plate so everybody can see underneath. Yep. My charger. You can actually it's take this. that right off. You can take it off. Sure. Yeah. Those are actual leaves with glue. And I literally, yeah, I just dried leaves in my little leaf dryer from Lee Valley. Oh, and then nice. I coated each leaf. I'll take one here and do this. I took each one of these leaves and I put it down on top of one of the chargers that I got from the dollar store. Wow, these are with beautiful. With saran wrap. Uh-huh. Okay. You actually just mod podge these right on here, which is any craft glue you can use. Yeah. You're just going to go like that, right? Glue it all down. Flip it over, getting craft glue all over yourself in the of process, because that's how we roll. It's all part like of it. Like that, and then you're just going to do the top part as well. So what, whatever leaves you have access to, you collect them all, you bring them in, you flatten and dry them. Yep, and you glue them on. Very easy. What happens is, once you're done, you're going yeah. to peel this off, okay? Yeah. And your leaves actually just peel right off Ooh. the plastic wrap. So you create that. Right. Simple. So in the end, you get this. These are beautiful. You can reuse these as well. I could reuse those. You could totally reuse them. They this. will start losing the color over time, though. Oh, it will. Okay? Uh, it will, unfortunately. It's very but pretty. So simple, and it costs <laughs> nothing but the glue. That's so right. So that's an easy one we like when we can save money that way. We do love that. So moving okay, on, let's do back. the napkins. Okay. Okay. Now, I am all about the visuals. Uh, in the sense that, you know, if the plate looks good, you're more excited about the meal. That's it's right. like, I don't want to call it the appetizer course because it's almost pre-appetizer. Yeah. But if you sit down at a table, it looks fantastic, amazing. You're excited. Even better if you can customize it. 
So mm -hmm. as soon as you customize it and you can add a little name tag, like we did here, we added your name to that one. Mm. It makes it even more it's special. Beautiful. It's personalized. Literally, it's a tag from a postage stamp box. So <laughs> simple. All I did was this is a piece of burlap. I had it left over from holiday wrapping. Okay. This time of year, everybody's got burlap from wrapping their trees. They're evergreens. That's Just right. take a strip of burlap. I literally folded it around my napkins. I glued the backside. So there's nothing fancy about that. Okay. okay. I took some rosemary because mm -hmm. I think, smell those. Beautiful. From my garden right now. Oh, wow. That's really Isn't nice. that amazing? Yeah. A couple of pieces of rosemary, some cinnamon sticks because uh -huh. I think the combination of smells, those yes. two together, are absolutely fantastic. They smell great. They look great. And they're reusable once you're done with them. That's right. <laughs> so you're just going to tie it on here. Just do a simple little knot. Because knots are always simple on TV when it's live like this. <laughs> so and you, you incorporate on. these in, which yeah. I think is so beautiful and so natural. And then you you put the name put tag on. Put your little on, name tag on. Which is so lovely. And you're done. And now you immediately have something that is special. It says holiday. Yeah. It really just took advantage of what you already had. And it didn't cost you very much at all. Really good. Yay. You, know, you got to use your noggin. If you don't have the dollars, you get creative.